Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and in this video I want to speculate about the cryptocurrency mining performance of the NVIDIA 3000 series GPUs. We've seen all kinds of leaks and rumors, benchmarks, hardware specs giving us the theoretical gaming performance of these GPUs, but what about the mining? Well, that's what we're going to get into in this video. Before we do so, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button if you like cryptocurrency uh, content, specifically the mining aspect, as well as gaming. Uh, that's what this channel is all about. Show the support. We really appreciate it. Now, let's jump right into it. First things first, I want to go over the specs, uh, or, or what we know bit by bit. And I got a bunch of these different articles that I took little snippets from. I'll have them all linked in the description. Just make sure that you take everything in this video and in these articles with a grain of salt, probably a lot more salt than that, because they all give you different information based on rumors, speculation, and benchmarks that they've seen in the wild. For example, at the top, or towards the top of this Tech Radar article, they say that the RTX 20, uh, 3080 Ti may be up to 40% faster than its predecessor, the 2080 Ti, with the increased core clock of 2.2 gigahertz, as well as the 18 gigabits per second video memory. The 18 gigabits per second is not as remarkable because I've seen 2080 Ti's hit close to 17 or at 17 gigabits per second. Moving down, another section says if the rumors are true, we can see a boost in the performance up to 50%. So we got 40% and 50% already. Exactly how much faster and more powerful is the RTX 3080 going to be over the current gen is still up in the air. We've seen 33 teraflops and 24 gigabytes of memory with a 1.11 gigahertz clock and we've seen a GPU with 124 compute units. So we're not just seeing one card specifically, we're seeing multiple cards go through testing and some of these engineering samples may not even make it to the consumer. The biggest thing to me is power efficiency. Now that we're going down to seven nanometer, power efficiency is going to be good especially like for example the 1660 Ti a uh, card that can run at 90 watts but pull uh, or you know do have a hash rate similar to the 1070 uh, the memory bandwidth is another thing for example the 18 gigabits per second video memory has a bandwidth of 864 gigabytes while the 28 Ti has 616 gigabytes that's a 40 percent increase over its predecessor. That doesn't mean we're going to get 40% increase in mining performance. It's just it's a, it's an increase, uh, a 40% increase in memory bandwidth. And then if we compare that uh, 616 to the current 2080. That's only 448, which I believe my my system can get 484 with a mild overclock. Moving on, the most interesting GPU to me, honestly, is the 3070. I don't know why. But, for example, it's still running on a 256 uh, bus, 256-bit bus, which is the same thing as the 2080. So just like we've seen before with the 2070 taking over for the 1070, uh, the 2070, you know, overtook or was on par with the 2080, while the 2080, uh, 2080 was on par or better than the 1080 Ti, depending on the title. So we're going to see the step up. So 3070 is going to be better than the 2080. 3080 is going to be a, uh, better than or equal to the 2080 Ti, somewhere in that ballpark. But the memory is a little bit too much for me. I don't foresee, and I could be wrong about this, I don't really see why NVIDIA will release a consumer-rated GPU with 20 gigabytes, 24 gigabytes. It would probably be more for the developer slash server sector. And the max we may see... Again, speculation is 16 uh, gigabit, gigabytes for consumer-related GPUs. But the streaming processors, like for example on the 3070, is only 3072, while the 2080 is 2944. So again, the 3070, I could see that guy taking over for the RTX 2080. And then the 3080 is a nice little powerhouse with an increased memory buff, uh, 320-bit three, three, memory bus, and 60 SMs. 
with 3480 streaming processors. Again, the 2080 only has 2944. So it should be a decent increase. But remember, we already had 40% in one, we had 50% in another, and then if I come over here, this one's saying the RTX 3080 might be 30% faster than the RTX 2080 Ti. Now, it's not apples to apples. In one article, they're comparing the 3080 Ti to the 2080 Ti, and this one, they're comparing the 3080 to the uh, 2080 Ti. So, from their information, you're telling me the RTX 3080 Ti is only 10% faster than the 3080? Then I might as well just go with the 3080, especially on the cost, depending on the cost. But you can't take it at face value yet. This information has no concrete proof as well. Um, NVIDIA hasn't said anything about it. So we're, we're waiting on NVIDIA's actual launch to get us, give us this information. Brandon Coin, which I have nothing but respect for, recently uh, did a video where he was using this website, uh, User Benchmark, to kind of compare the jump from generation to generation. Unfortunately, I don't think that's 100% accurate. Uh, what I mean by that, for example, is for example, the 1070 to the 2070 is a 25% increase, while the 1080 to the 2080 is a 17% increase. That's gaming performance, and not always does gaming performance equate to mining performance. So we can't really draw the same conclusion. Uh, so with the article saying anywhere from 50 to 30%, if we go back in time, NVIDIA at launch of the 20 series said a 30% increase over its predecessor, depending on the GPU, title, benchmark, whatever. And I know a lot of the gaming uh, YouTubers, or excuse me, the, the, the YouTubers out there, content creators that do gaming benchmarks and test reviews of this technology and, and GPUs and hardware and CPUs. When we did our testing, depending on the benchmark, we only saw anywhere from 18 to 25 percent again depending on the benchmark and everybody's parameters are different test bench setup is different the whole nine yards but we only saw 18 to 25 out of the 30 percent that Nvidia provided to us and if we take some of this information and we try to speculate for example the jump between the 1070 and the 2070 was different than the jump between the 1080 and the 2080. Why? Well, the 1070 had GDR5. Well, the 2070 had GDR6. The 1080 had GDR5X, while the 2080 had GDR6. We're still going to be on GDR6, but the increase in memory bandwidth, the improvement in uh, efficiency, from the die shrink and the overall memory size is going to be our biggest gainers when it comes to mining. For example, a 1070 you can get about 30 mega hash in Ethereum, mining Ethereum, while it's 2070 can almost get 10 mega hash more. But then when we jump up to the 1080 to the 2080, so 1080 is 34.5, let's say 35, and the 2080 is 38. We could probably hit 40 on that or close to so the jump isn't as big. What I speculate, if you want raw numbers, what I speculate is on the lower GPUs, we can see an increased percentage in performance from generation to generation in crypto mining performance. We're going to see a bigger gain in the, in the you know, 3070 down than we will in the 3080 up. So maybe... I'm going to say 15 to 20 percent increase in performance from the 3070 down the the different variations, and then from the 3080 up, I'm going to say anywhere from 8 to 12 percent improvement over the next gener or the the predecessor of the previous generation. That's the numbers that I'm going to say in my head, and I can be wrong. This again, this video is just speculation. But do not take the information provided to you in these articles of 30% faster, 40% faster, 50% faster, and even uh, benchmark uh, type uh, forms as the final word. We still got a lot of data that we need, and we're going to do some actual testing. I myself will be able to grab a GPU. I won't be able to grab the $1,200, $1,000 GPU, but I will be able to grab a GPU 
And just like I've done with a number of different cards, I will compile the data, do some testing, and provide it to the community. And I'm, I'm sure a number of crypto YouTubers uh, from Bits Be Trippin', Voscoin, uh, Red Panda Mining will do the exact same thing. And it's up to you to make an informed decision on what you want to do. So the memory bandwidth, the power efficiency from the die shrink, and the overall memory itself, whether we jump from 8 to 10 or you know, from 11 to 16, depending on the GPU, those are going to be the biggest improvements. A concern I have, and the last one I want to talk about, is the design. So the design that they have, I mean, it's unique. Thank God they moved away from the blower fans, and or thank whoever you believe in. Uh, but it's not the dual fan that we're, we're used to for the, the 20 series, the Founders Edition cards. Uh, instead, it's flip-flop, so we got one fan on either side. That might be a blessing and a curse, and the reason I say that, for example, is in a computer case, this fan design might work out. For example, let's go ahead and see if I can try to do this. This is the front of the case. This is the back of the case. We're going to have air coming in through the front, and if you look on that dual slot card, right, we're going to have it facing like this. It's going to be pulling air from the back, the back bottom of the case, pulling it through the vapor chamber, and then venting it up. The good thing is in the ATX case, it's going to follow the airflow. So as it vents up, the airflow is going to take that hot air with it up out of the case or out to the back, whatever you got, depending on your case. In a mining setup, that's a different story. With a Vata frame, right, we usually have the front of these GPUs right here, and then the 120 millimeter fans back here. Right, so the fans are blowing air this way, and the the dual slot cards are facing towards the front. Well, if you look at the fan design, that's going to take air in, especially the furthest one to the right. That's going to take air in, go through the vapor chamber, and exhaust it out to the left. Will that heat get sucked in by the next GPU? If you had this entire rig built out of these Founder Edition cards with this type of design will that impact the thermals on the next card and then get recycled and go on to the next card and then so on and so forth will that increase thermals because in a computer case i could see it being a great design but from a mining perspective especially in a mining frame i could see the heat being exhausted into the next gpu because that 120 millimeter fans on the back side of the uh, of the rig is just going to blow that hot air towards the front that's being exhausted and then be taken in by the next gpu over and then so on and so forth However, we don't know. There's got to be a reason why NVIDIA chose this design. I don't personally like it. I think it's ugly, but I could be wrong. And it could be very efficient uh, with the vapor chamber design and everything. So we'll just have to wait and see. The main aspect or the main point of this video that I want you to take away is do not let the theoretical gaming performance percentages, numbers, leaks, rumors impact and make you think that this is the type of mining performance you're going to get. You're not going to get 40% gaming performance and 40% mining performance. It doesn't work that way. There's a number of variables that go into it. For example, the mine developers, when the AMD series came out, it took them a while to allow us to, to mine with those cards, depending on the algorithm and all that good stuff. NVIDIA is a little bit better. They have a better driver team, better development uh, group, better R&D, the budget, whole nine. So we may not see that. It may not take as long. But the first sets of GPUs, there might be some hiccups that the community will talk about and will get resolved, whether it's through the miner or a new NVIDIA drivers being released. Do not get these GPUs as soon as they come out, unless you're willing to take jump on the grenade, so to speak. Just like most of the tech tubers say, wait for Atom Board Partners. Let's see the data. Let's see if this, this thermal design is very good. Let's see how the card performs. Maybe the add-in board partners will do something greater and, and boost performance. And maybe there's a better cooler design, whatever. Do not be the first to jump in. Take your time. I will present you the data as soon as I'm capable of doing so. As soon as I have the budget and the capability to grab the card, I will try to be as quick as possible. But check and review everybody in the crypto uh, mining space. And then that way you can make an educated decision on what you want to buy. Besides that, I hope this information helped you out in some form or fashion. Do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe for more content like this. And uh, hit me up on Twitter.
I post my Reddit page where I post uh, or I put all the data that I usually get, as well as my Twitter links and everything. So you guys have a good evening or day wherever you are, and take care of yourself. I'll catch you in the next one.